Hi guys, welcome to my show. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you have asked for updates on my brother Derek, and I am proud and privileged and pleased and all the other P words to tell you about his story. And I wanted to wait because I wasn't sure. there. It was like some preliminary report, so I didn't want to like say it and then the report to be wrong or whatever. So the, re the real report's in. And so I feel like I can tell you. Okay, so backstory. If you guys didn't watch the video where I told you my brother Derek had cancer. So I get this call. And um, no, I didn't get a call. I got an email from my mom that said that Derek had cancer. And so then I was like, okay. And then we were kind of waiting to figure out like, yeah, it was kidney cancer, but what kind, what stage, has it spread, that all the questions that come with that. So then I got, was it, it was another email. I don't know why my, nobody can pick up a phone in my house and call. <laughs> Anyways, I got another email that said, stage four cancer with lymph node involvement, chest scan showed one mass in each lung, so it spread to his lungs. And, um, I mean, stage four cancer with another organ is pretty much like, okay, how long does he have to live? Days, weeks, months, years? I mean, I was weeping. I was like, he's only 41 and he's got three kids and all these things fly through your mind and why wasn't I a better sister and <laughs> all this other jazz? Anyway, so... I went down, my sister and mom had already gone down, and then another sister came when another sister left. Anyways, we were playing switch off and stuff when I painted the kitchen and the bathroom and all that. So, I think I had told you the good news about his cancerous kidney, the one that um, it, it had totally, totally stopped working. It had totally shut down. I don't even think it was like receiving any blood. Anyways, they got that um, kidney, cancerous kidney out and the incision was smaller than they thought. The lymph nodes looked a little bit better than they thought. So they were biopsying all that. They took those three lymph nodes out. And they were going to do another chest scan to see. Meanwhile, people, you guys were praying. Everybody that I know I told about was praying. All my sisters shouted the word out on Facebook to pray and all this stuff. And so... um numbers of people were involved in this miracle because then he I got the call was it an email was it a call it was a call it was a call it was a call from my sister and she said that the doctor was like where did it go where did the masses go so there were no masses on the second scan and Derek said I saw the masses with my own eyes on the scan so if that wasn't a miracle in and of itself the um there the lymph nodes were clear the bone biopsy was clear everything was clear the kidney that came out you know was cancerous but like everything looked so clear and so good and his tissue looked good um, that the doctor said that he would not need chemo or radiation even. So he went from my brother's dying, how many days do I have left, to you get to go back to work in three weeks and we don't have to do chemo. So... I'm chalking it up to a miracle because it is a miracle. I thought I'd share it with you because the world needs more miracles and more good stories out there. There's so many sad things happening in the world all the time. I'm just grateful for you guys for helping in that effort. I know you guys said you were praying and thoughts were being sent and I know there's power in numbers of people too. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. I know a lot of you have asked about an update, and I wanted to share that good news with you. Um, 
I always pray for sick people. It's just so bad. If you don't have your health, it's like, what do you have, right? So anyways, um, my brother Derek is like, fine. He's got to do a checkup in three months. He's got to do a checkup in six months and then a year. And then after that, I don't know if they're going to be yearly checkups, but they you know, need to make sure that it doesn't spread again or start up again, that kind of thing. So, I mean, there's that. But as of right now, I'm just like, we're all just like, our mouths are to the floor. <clears throat> but that's what faith can do. I'll throw this video up so that you guys can see and rejoice in the great news that it is. And hopefully, um, you'll see miracles happen in your life. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.